Robert Salerno of the West Stockbridge Historical Society showed us the old Shaker Mill, which is now a bookstore. See little puppies. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. And look at this. <coughs> oh, and I didn't even see at first that those were books. Holy cow. Joel oh, Hodgkiss, wow. owner of Hodgkiss Mobiles, shared his amazing workshop with us. Just about every option we have available, and there's some fun for gardens. Wow. So do you have to use a lot of math here to get the... So that's, so that's you know, that gets a little tricky. Um, now we're... Coloration, I'll lift him up a little bit. He's going out of the water, and then he's going back in the water. Oh, wow. Look at that. I wanted a, an art fund that could give me many different directions. So that's that's. And that's so you're happened. always creating something new. It, it never gets old. It never gets old. The Norman Rockwell Museum was a real treat. We are at the Norman Rockwell. Museum. Rockwell Studio was moved from Main Street in Stockbridge to the grounds of the museum. The museum itself holds the works of other artists as well. A visit to charming Main Street in Stockbridge reveals the Main Street Cafe, above which Rockwell had a studio. Around the corner from the cafe is the Stockbridge Cafe, closed now, but once That's was so the subject cool. of Arlo Guthrie's famous song, Alice's Restaurant. Yeah. There's a walk over here. That's what she was saying. It looks like the Nomkeek Estate was closed to the public when we were there in preparation for their Halloween celebration. However, a friend was able to get look us in. These, oh my goodness, look at these stairs. Even off season, the building and grounds were absolutely beautiful. So. It's definitely a beautiful place. We're talking to Ann Schuyler here, and she's the Director of Visitor Services at the Mount here in Lenox. And this is the home of Edith Wharton, famous American novelist. She wrote 40 books in 40 years, over 40 books in 40 years. Um, she was born in 1862 uh, into New York uh, upper class uh, society. She traveled a great deal in Europe um, when she was a young girl. She eventually got married to a man named Teddy Wharton and thus became Edith Wharton. Daniel Chester French was a sculptor famous for the Lincoln Memorial. At his estate in Stockbridge, called Chesterwood, one can visit a well laid out museum and get a tour of his studio. Richard Bourdon, B-O-U-R, D-O-N. I was a baker by trade already while well, I mean, since eight years in, in Europe. I, I worked in, in Europe and I, I, I started in Holland. In Holland? Yes, in Holland. And then I studied with some French bakers and some, but we're a little bit pioneers in the, in the sourdough department, right? And it was, just, just before, like when I started, it was like the artisan bread world didn't really exist yet. That started in the late 80s. There you go. See? And now it's going into the great purifier. <laughs> the Guthrie Center in Great Barrington is a community center with an emphasis on music. And we got to enjoy a good old-fashioned hootenanny. 
We're here at the Guthrie Center with George Lay, and he's going to tell us all about the center. I've been with Arlo 40-some years in many capacities to check it out, musical program. So I put a thing out on our, on our website and on Facebook, and I said, the musical instruments wanted. And it's unbelievable what we have. I mean, I have a cello. I have a harp. I have uh, trumpets, clarinets. We're here at Joe Steiner. Wow. Um, the Norman Rockwell, The Runaway, was done here by Norman Rockwell, obviously. <laughs> here, a place in Pittsfield, and another place. He took all the paintings and pictures and made one big painting, right? okay. which is up there. 30 years later, the kid in the top came back and brought it here and made it more like the spot here. Here we are at High Lawn Farm with Sarah Spencer. We love farms, and we were very impressed with how well High Lawn Farm in Lee takes care of the cows with their robotic milking process and their creamy ice cream. Oh, oh, so Oh, good. Uh, Yum. Hold on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's purple cow. <laughs>